This video is sponsored by Millspec Watch Group. Millspec Watch Group is an authorized dealer of a number of different military style watches based out of North Dakota and the Minnesota Twin Cities area. All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here and a first here on the channel. We have a LoomTech watch in. Uh, this watch came to me by way of Chris Marshall. He got this watch through Millspec Watch Group. I will leave links and information to their website and everything down below in the description. But really, really neat timepiece. I've always wanted to look at a LoomTech because of um, they're just awesome watches. They're hand assembled in the United States and Ohio. Um, really cool company. Um, Weigand Watch uh, Custom Watches is the parent company of this. They've been making watches for uh, uh, quite a long time, made custom watches for thousands of customers, and LoomTech is their uh, their top, you know, their their proud brand that they have there. Um, so very nice timepiece, and they offer so much in these watches. They are quite pricey, but knowing that they're hand assembled in America, they're regulated here in the United States in six different positions. And I'll kind of go through more of the information uh, that they give you, but let's talk about the specs on this watch. Now, obviously, we have. A GMT Pilot's Watch here. Absolutely beautiful. I love this finish on here. This is a titanium nitride um, uh, PVD coating on here. It also has an anti-fingerprint coating on there, so you're not going to have fingerprints. You have a domed sapphire crystal on this watch with anti-reflective coating, as you guys can see the blue tint there. Case size on this watch is 43 millimeters lug, uh, side to side, lug to lug. Comes in at a big 51 millimeters. You have 14 millimeters of thickness on the watch and you have a 22 millimeter lug opening. Viton self-lubricating gaskets are being used all around on this watch, so case back. Crown actually has a double seal on it, so uh, really impressive there. 200 meters of water resistance, which is pretty impressive for a pilot style GMT watch, and uh, I don't think you're gonna ever have any problem with that. What's really impressive is that LoomTech offers lifetime gasket replacement or cleaning and pressure testing of the watch for the time you own it. And they're supposed to be incredibly impressive with their turnaround time, turnaround times, excuse me, for service work, which I think is a very impressive thing. So beautiful timepiece all the way around. Now, Chris has this on this really custom leather strap here that looks really good. The straps that the watch actually comes with is gonna be a NATO strap, a standard nylon NATO strap, and then a suede NATO strap. And the suede NATO strap does have a comfortable backing on it there. But very cool timepiece. Now this is running a Miyota 9075, which if you're familiar with that movement, that is a true GMT movement. So instead of like a tr uh, your desk GMT or your office GMT, this actually has the independent jumping hand there. So for your hour hand. So when you set this watch, you wanna set your 24 hour time for your standard time. And then once you go to different places, you can use that hour hand to jump around there for different times. Nice solid screw down crown. That's gotta be probably a seven and a half to eight millimeter crown. You can see the LoomTech logo on there, but beautiful, beautiful timepiece. You've got a C3 uh, X1 Super Luminova grade. It, it's actually a super, super special grade. When we do the Loom shot, you guys will be blown away by this, but that's one of their biggest things. Diamond cut hands on this. You can see these big, broad uh, sword hands or alpha hands, I guess, something like that on there, but really, really impressive looking timepiece. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second and get this one on my seven inch wrist and be sure to stick around for that Loom shot. All right, so I have a straight up seven inch wrist. So the lugs turned down nicely. So that 51 doesn't really hang over the wrist at all. The watch wears very nicely. It is a 316L stainless steel with that uh, titanium nitride PVD finish on it. So it does wear like a heavy watch. This is one of 300 pieces that are gonna be made in this. So if you guys are uh, looking for a Loom Tech watch to add to your collection, just be aware that they are made in small batches um, and sometimes they will sell out quickly. Like I said, I think these are available right now at the website if you want to check them out. Um, but very, very impressive timepieces, proudly assembled here in the United States with the most premium products you can pick up. So let's check out the Loom. All right, well, there you have it. Nothing to complain about. Just a few seconds out in the sunlight did this. You can see that... Uh, GMT hand is also loom just barely peeking out there underneath the minute hand so let's get this one back on the bench and close out this video well there you have it beautiful timepiece and I think wonderful service I, I mentioned the the cleaning of the gaskets and the pressure testing one of the other things they'll do for lifetime is um, correct the timing on this watch so um, with that Miyota 9075 it is a high beat movement in there so that's really neat that they offer lifetime regulation of the movement so um, anytime you feel like your watch isn't running correctly you can get it back out to LoomTech and they're going to do 
They can do the pressure testing, they can clean the gaskets on the watch, and they can also regulate the movement. And that's free of charge once you've bought one of these watches. So even with the high price of these watches, knowing that that's the service they offer after the fact, I mean, there's of course a two year limited warranty, but that service after the fact and them being there for you, that's really a big part of what you're, you're buying into besides the fact that it's incredible, incredible quality um, watch uh, assembled here in the US. So, all right guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks guys.